If there were a Golden Globe for Best Dressed, these women would surely take home the statuette. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Golden Globe dresses of all time. Truly the most wonderful experience of, of this whole reaction to the movie has been to get to spend time with so many of the people in this room. For this list, the criteria is simple. As long as the ladies on this list wore their gorgeous gowns to a Golden Globe ceremony, they're eligible. A lot of people didn't like this, but she's young and she's bright and she goes to Brown University. So from the back, this dress brings a new meaning to the term smartass. Number 10, Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita Nyong'o, 12 years a slave. Since she burst onto the scene with 2014's 12 Years a Slave, Lupita has been an actress to watch. And we're not just talking about her acting. 500 pounds of cotton, day in, day out. Her red carpet style is impeccable, but perhaps never more so than when she wore this Ralph Lauren stunner to the 2014 Golden Globe ceremony. Lupita is wearing Ralph Lauren Spring 2014. How about that for a home run? How about that? I mean, amazing. In this red number, she looked both of the moment and timeless, a hard feat to pull off. The simplicity, bold color, and off-the-shoulder silhouette complemented her physique and her glowing skin, while the cape gave the outfit that element of high fashion we've come to expect from her. Hardly any jewelry, diamond studs, it's all about great shape, great color, killer fit. I like, we bow to her. Number nine, Mini Driver. It's a category that spans the entire spectrum of television acting, and here are the nominees. Minnie may not have been one of the nominees that night, but she stole the show with this Givenchy number. So I think I had a class with you. Oh yeah? What class? History. While she was at the awards ceremony to support Goodwill Hunting, Minnie rocked a gown that made for the ultimate red carpet trifecta. Strapless, shimmery, and complete with a train. The iridescent glow of the pale gown stands out with her skin tone, and the strapless cut shows off her enviable figure perfectly. Styled simply with glamorously curled hair, a diamond bracelet, and earrings, this dress may be even more memorable than the awards given that night. <laughs> You're an idiot. What? You're an idiot. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. Number 8, Charlize Theron. This is so crazy. I'm from a farm in South Africa. This is insane. Talk about a bell of the ball moment. Yellow is a hard color to pull off on the red carpet, but it was no problem for Charlize who stunned in this soft and romantic dress in 2004. Thank you so much to the Hollywood Foreign Press! I will never forget this night! The barely there sleeves and fluttery material are reminiscent of a delicate butterfly. Plus, her softly curled hair and sparkly clip add a finishing touch to the look, as did the Golden Globe she took home that year for Monster. Charlize went for a similar yet slightly more dramatic effect at the 2012 ceremony in a plunging pink gown, but it's the yellow dress we remember most. Both gowns were Christian Dior, which comes at no surprise since she's a face of the brand. The future is gold. J'adore. Dior. Number 7. Jessica Elba Even though she was only attending the ceremony to present the award for Best Actor in a Miniseries or Television Film, Jessica made sure she didn't fade into the background with this Oscar de la Renta creation. In a year of so many great performances on TV, these six stand out. Giving everyone life in this coral mermaid dress, the tan beauty stood out with this bold choice, giving her figure that extra bit of va va voom factor. This is amazing! Oh my goodness, thanks! Yeah, stunning! You've got wow. like a coral lip yes. and a bit of a coral and matching bag. Aside from her old Hollywood glam waves, she styled the ruffled dress with a Harry Winston diamond necklace worth many millions, a bright coral lip, and a feathery Roger Vivier bag. That is a best dress compact. Can it fit in there? I think it can. And that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I like the furry clutch. It what do you think the works. furry? I right, love there's nothing else is furry. Feather, so. Feathers, Billy, not feathers. furry. Feathers. Number six, Sofia Vergara. Gracias, Antonio. Gracias, Salma. Al ser esto un premio internacional, lo vamos a recibir en dos idiomas. The best red carpet moments come when you can stun from both the front and from behind, which is exactly the case with Sofia Vergara's 2012 gown. Dressed in a midnight blue Vera Wayne creation, Vergara showed off a silhouette that was simple and strapless on the top, but had a dramatic flair when it came to the fitted mermaid cut and ruffled train around her legs. No matter which angle you viewed it from, the gown hugged every curve to create a true wow moment. 
She took the look to the next level with the Harry Winston accessories, donning 31.58 carat earrings and a 62.72 carat bracelet, with the whole package totaling more than $5 million worth of jewels. Pero sobre todo le damos las gracias a todo ese gran grupo de producción. They may look pasty and nervous and out of shape, but they're the greatest lovers I've ever had. Number 5. Scarlett Johansson Red is always a risk on the red carpet because you run the risk of fading into the background. But that proved to be no problem for blonde bombshell Scarlett Johansson thanks to this Valentino stunner. ScarJo looked the epitome of sexy with this simple dress that embraced each and every one of her curves. The scoop of the neckline and the ruffle of the hem accentuated the lines of her body in the best way possible. Unfortunately, the gown inspired an unwanted grope from designer Isaac Mizrahi on the red carpet. But we won't let that spoil our memory of this Golden Globe look. It's sheer perfection. Well, then, oh my damn! What? What? Where? Red. Holy oh, shit, right? That's a dime. That is a dime. Nah, she's hot, but it's not a dime. Yo, I don't even mess with blondes like that. Number 4. Ava Mendez The Golden Globes is an international show seen in over 137 countries by over half a billion people. Not many dare to wear white, since the color can be unforgiving or make the wearer look like a bride. But Ava Mendez took the risk, and it was worth it. This white Christian Dior gown would be an understated look if not for the layered taffeta fabric gathered at her waist. The inclusion of the midsection piece gives the ensemble an element of drama and unexpected flair. But what really ties the look together is the turquoise collar from jeweler Van Cleef & Arpels. It adds the perfect pop of color to accentuate her glowing skin tone. Number 3. Jennifer Aniston I loved this dress. I thought the simplicity, I just thought it was so beautiful. Black can be a safe choice for formal wear, and Jennifer Aniston has been accused of turning to the LBD one too many times. But when the black gown is done right, it can create a timeless moment like this. The vintage Valentino gown struck just the right balance between sexy and classy, with the plunging neckline creating the perfect amount of cleavage, and the buckle in the middle giving the outfit a hint of shine and edge. Just like the dress, she went for a minimalist styling, with just a bracelet and clutch to complete her look. It just goes to show that an understated look can have the maximum effect. And it really, that dress was flawless. It, it wasn't, it wasn't too, too sexy, it wasn't overdone, it was seductive and sweet, and I really thought she looked hot in it. Number 2. Jennifer Lopez Please welcome the star of NBC's Shades of Blue, Jennifer Lopez, and from Central Intelligence, Dwayne Johnson. JLo is known for her glamorous sense of style, and this look has to be the epitome of that. Dressed in Giambattista Valley, Jennifer Lopez owned the red carpet. Tell me about the look. Uh, Giambattista Valley, uh, it's chartreuse, beautiful, structured, I don't know. You guys describe it, I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a really good dress. As we mentioned before, yellow is a color that would scare away most, but this canary hue brings out the warmth in her skin and makes sure all eyes are on her. I loved it. I loved it. I love the color marigold. I love that she stepped outside of her own, you know, her own style statement. The bold red lip, thigh high slit, and cape bring unexpected elements to the outfit and take it to a whole new level. But the pièce de résistance is the Harry Winston diamond wreath necklace that adds a touch of sparkle. Her whole look is old Hollywood for a new age. Let me tell you, this is a tough dress to wear. Because yes, you have to work this dress. A lot. You there's need a lot to know how to. On. That dress was worked so hard, it's unemployed and it's collecting a check. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Anne Hathaway Anne Hathaway, love and other drugs. Anne Hathaway is one of the most fashionable actresses of her generation, and her killer Armani Privé gown at the 2011 ceremony proves it. Taking a bold approach, Anne wore this rose gold sequin number with long sleeves, an uncommon style in a world full of strapless dresses. But what really puts this edgy dress over the top is the fact that it's backless, showing just how confident she is in her skin. The look is the polar opposite from the strapless white Chanel gown Hathaway wore in 2013 when she actually won a Golden Globe for Les Miserables. But both show that she's a fashionable force to be reckoned with. Anne Hathaway, who looks a little bit like Joan Crawford lately, really hit it. Do you agree with our list? Which outfit did you love? 
For more stylish top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Coco Chanel said it best decades ago, take one thing off before yes. you leave the house. A lot of ladies add more on because they get nervous she and they want to look special. I'm, 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 I'm just thinking that. I'm just thinking.